Delhi, the initial roots in the northern state of the country took shape in the year 1970. Consequently, through the formation of the Delhi MCA in 1978, the community has slowly but surely flourished and now anchors the needs of close to 500 families spread across nine centers. With the apostolic visitator's appointment in 2007, the region is indeed blessed multifold and most importantly, creating its own space both from a political as well as a visibility perspective. Kolkata, unlike other missions, the history of Kolkata mission begins with Mar Ivanius himself. Our founder father set his foot on the soil of Bengal way back in 1930 in pursuit of his higher studies at Serampur College, Kolkata. It's been widely recognized that his visits to Shantiniketan and learnings of the region has helped shape the Malangara Church. 1991 saw the establishment of Bedini Ashram in Kolkata. As the community grew in fellowship, the need for a dedicated place of worship was of paramount interest. Hence, 1997 saw this dream coming true and subsequently the elevation to a personal parish took place in 2001. Currently, the region caters to about 24 families. Gujarat, initiation of the Malangra Mass first took place in 1998 with a handful of Malangra families. It subsequently witnessed the appointment of the first priest in 1999 to take care of pastoral care in the state of Gujarat, predominantly in Surat, Ahmedabad and later Baroda. A full-time priest for Surat was appointed in the earlier part of 2000 and today with a community presence of 65 families and more, the city is going strong. On the other hand, Ahmedabad has grown in stature with around 60 families. Soon Baroda was also established in the year 2008. Andhra Pradesh, the community started budding in the twin cities of Hyderabad and Secunderabad in the years 1995-96. The personal parish came into existence on 15th August 1997 and today it boasts of 130 families spread across these two cities. Madhya Pradesh, it was Bhopal that witnessed the inaugural Malangara Mass that was celebrated in 1965. The appointment of a full-time parish priest was realized in 1985 along with the inauguration of the Malangara Bhavan in 1980. Bhopal has strong Malangara presence with 107 families totaling 440 parishioners. Rajasthan, Jaipur, the pink city witnessed its first official Malangara Kholi Kurbana in the latter period of 2003. A year later, a full-time priest was duly appointed to cater to the pastoral need for the 89-member Malangara community. Punjab, Vidyana in 2005 and Jalandhar in 2006 came into existence and since then has helped nurture the spiritual and pastoral needs. Haryana, Faridabad established its own church in 1983. A dedicated church to Mother Mary took shape in 1998 and caters to 67 families. Gurgaon is the latest entrant and was initiated in 2009 for the 15 odd families. Uttar Pradesh, the Ghaziabad region came into being in 1991 with the Holy Mass celebrated at Maam Mariam and liturgical services at St. Paul's Academy. With the recent acquisition of land, the community of 25 families is all set to have their own personal parish in due course. The spiritual force behind the ETRI. Key highlights of ETRI activities. Let us look at some of the key services and offerings rendered by the ETRI. The all-round activities of the church has been meticulously planned and designed keeping in view the emphasis of a holistic growth and development of the church. The four key pillars of the ETRI church, the Sunday School, MCY, 
Matrusangam and Pitruvedi forms a basis through which the community concept and aspirations take place to form what we call as a real Malangarais. The Sunday school curriculum has indeed seen a major change in the recent years. Though these are early days of infancy, the vigor and the efforts has seen the first green shoots of success sprout. With the implementation of a centralized catechism curriculum under one common banner for all Sunday school children, the centralized examinations and evaluation process, conducting sub-regional and parish level camps, seminars, workshops, and last but not the least, the much-awaited annual Sunday school Kala Ulsavam, a festivity in its own, has lived to its expectations. With the appointment of directors at the ETRI level, the MCYM movement has witnessed the much-awaited leadership impetus and trust. Conventions, leadership workshops, growth retreats, night vigils, and various other social and cultural activities represent what we call as a true ethos of the Malangarat youth today. A special mention for the highly visible and tangible efforts by our youth, the Prachotana, with its primary project objective being food, shelter and clothing, our young youths are making every effort to feed the hungry and help realize a dream for the homeless by providing assistance by way of basic education, medical aid and shelter. The ETRI Matru Sangam has initiated the adult catechism for all its members. This has been seen as a major thrust in not only educating but regenerating the faith amongst its members and the dividends that have been seen by the special efforts and active role in the Lone Drive Project calls for a special praise and recognition to the Matra Sangha. Development projects in the annual. Pastoral centers in all cities, additional high schools and colleges, engineering colleges and medical colleges, retreat center, new mission centers in remaining states of Northeast, especially in the mission field, infrastructural investments for future growth and expansion. The ETRI community is highly indebted to the pastoral care provided by the diocesan priests from the Trivandrum, Tirvella, Muatapura and the Theri Diocese. Likewise, priests from the Bethany Religious Congregation, the Navajivan province and the Navajoti province has been of great help. The dedicated and tireless efforts provided by the religious sisters from the DM convent, Bethany, Vincentians, Holy Spirit, SSMS, and others continue to play an active role in the overall development of the church. Let us also take this opportunity to remember our forefathers, ancestors, and spiritual leaders who left for their heavenly abode in the hope of rising again. We will continue taking this baton onto newer horizons with a renewed strength.